Aww, animals. How animals are surviving Hurricane Harvey. As Hurricane Harvey dumped water all over Texas, humans weren't the only ones looking for relief. Animals of all shapes and sizes were caught in the downpour and had to be rescued along with everybody else. The rich animals were the lucky ones because they were able to get out before the rain hit. Blue-collared friends like Harvey the Hawk wasn't as fortunate. Heavy rains forced Harvey to hail a cab rather than take to the skies. Guess Harvey isn't a big Uber or Lyft fan. Gators have also been trying to escape all the wetness. Many have been seen hanging out in the burbs. And of course, man's best friend and our favorite feline companions were stuck just like everyone else. Oh, how heartbreaking. We're talking about that poor cat stuck in the back. Not the old grandmas, although they're okay too. And it wasn't only the big animals looking for a helping hand during Tropical Storm Harvey. Insects were in on the action as well. Stay dry out there, folks. John, I'm standing in the path of a hurricane right now, reporting live Saved. Hurricane Harvey claimed one less life in Houston after a TV crew helped save a trucker from a watery death. As heavy rains submerged most of the city in flood water on Sunday, one semi-truck driver found himself trapped inside his vehicle, which was in about 10 feet of water. A KHOU 11 news crew covering the flooding saw the truck and spotted the man stuck inside. They urged the driver to stay put while they called for help. Reporter Brandy Smith flagged down two sheriff's deputies who were driving past with a rescue boat and alerted them to the man's plight. Within minutes, the deputies were on a boat and pulling the driver out of his flooded vehicle to safety. Smith and her cameraman kept the video rolling during the rescue and were relieved when the man was finally back on dry land. It was an emotional rescue, especially after deputies recounted a similar incident last year, which ended in tragedy. Hurricane Harvey couldn't keep this dog down. As Hurricane Harvey swept through the state, a lost dog in Texas showed it takes more than a raging storm to beat it. Before Hurricane Harvey's landfall Friday night, Sinton resident Salvador Segovia left his grandson's German Shepherd mix Otis in his screened-in back porch. When Segovia went back to check on Otis later, he was gone. Segovia checked his porch the next day and noticed Otis's bag of dog food was missing. Segovia went looking for the dog and was told by a neighbor they saw Otis strolling around with a bag of dog food in his mouth. Fortunately, Segovia was able to track down the dog's whereabouts and bring him home before his grandson returned. A neighbor who saw Otis thought he was a stray and took a snap of him strolling around with the dog food and uploaded it to Facebook where the image went viral. According to Segovia, Otis is loved by the folks in Sinton, and he's been helpful to Segovia's five-year-old grandson, who often goes to the hospital for seizures and asthma. Missing cargo ship sailed directly into hurricane path despite hurricane warning. Rescuers fear the missing cargo ship El Faro is now 15,000 feet below the Atlantic after being caught in Hurricane Joaquin on Thursday. On Tuesday morning, Hurricane Joaquin was only a tropical storm that would not interfere with the El Faro's route from Jacksonville to San Juan. However, when the ship set sail at 8 p.m., a hurricane advisory had already been issued for the Bahamas. The ship's captain reportedly monitored the weather and was not alarmed, even as the vessel was now in the direct path of the storm. Thursday, the ship lost power near the eye of a Category 4 hurricane with winds blowing at 130 miles per hour, seas 50 feet high, and zero visibility. The ship is believed to have sunk. A life ring, a damaged lifeboat, and survival suits, one of which contained human remains, have been found among the debris. The Coast Guard is currently still searching for any of the other 32 El Faro mariners that could have survived. Super Typhoon Napartak to make landfall in Taiwan. Taiwan is preparing for Super Typhoon Napartak, which ended a record storm drought of 200 days in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Super Typhoon Napartak was formed in a low pressure area south of Guam on June 30th. Such storms are formed when warm, moist air rises into the atmosphere and creates clouds after condensation. The system of clouds and wind continue to grow and spin faster until it becomes a typhoon. Napartak intensified after traveling over a long stretch of warm ocean. It then moved over relatively cool water, reducing its energy. However, it's expected to pass over another area of warm water before making landfall in Taiwan. Napartak has an annular appearance, meaning it has a pinhole storm eye and very tight bands. 
annular typhoons are less likely to be weakened by land masses and cold water in comparison to non-annular typhoons. Taiwan weather forecast authorities say Nepartak's transverse lines of clouds also suggest strong convection activity in the typhoon, meaning it is still strengthening. Typhoon Soldanor killed dozens of people when it hit Taiwan and China in August of last year.